The underlying rocks at Ballarat were formed as a series of sand, silt and mud on a sea floor. Sometime after the sediments were laid down, they were compressed, causing the layers of rock to buckle and form folds. Movement between some of the weaker layers of rock produced shear zones, which are represented here as blue lines. Further compression eventually resulted in large breaks in the rocks, shown here as brown lines. Geologists refer to these breaks as reverse faults, which are locally known at Ballarat as leather jacket faults. After the rocks were folded and faulted, fluids carrying gold moved along the various breaks in the rocks and gold was deposited in certain favourable locations, in particular at the intersection between two structures. Sometime after the original deposition of the gold, the rocks were exposed to the surface. Over time, surface weathering effects eroded the sedimentary rocks, including the gold. During this process the gold, which is a heavy mineral, would typically fall to the bottom of the river channels that were eroding the sedimentary rocks. The final resting place for the gold deposits at Ballarat are shown in red. Most of the gold at Ballarat was found at the base of ancient river channels. Underlying the gold-rich river channels, large quartz-hosted gold deposits were discovered. However, the onset of World War I prevented the discovery of most of the quartz-hosted gold deposits, which still remain underneath the city of Ballarat.